not only do we not have a lot of money to spend, now we gotta really watch it to make sure that what we're spending is real. Welcome back to Northern Perspective, everyone. I'm Cypher. And I'm Fox. Here's a news story you probably haven't heard about yet. Over $53,000 in counterfeit $2 coins was recently seized in Quebec. We bring you the story, as well as some tips on how you can prevent counterfeit toonies from ending up in your change. Let's take a look. How close do you look at your change? The chances are not that close. And that's exactly what scammers are banking on. Mike Marshall is a counterfeit coin expert. If it's a $100 bill, everybody looks at it. A $2 coin, people just don't look at them. He does and knows how to tell a real from a fake. The front right foot on them both are different. One has the split toes. En ce moment, on a Kevin. A package shipped from China caught the eye of a Canada Border Service Agency officer last January. According to sworn affidavits, when the CBSA officer opened it up, she discovered more than 12,000 fake toonies, all stamped 2012 and stuffed in plastic bags. They were bought for just five cents a piece and addressed to a man named Jean-François Genereux from Sorel, Quebec. Officers allege they discovered another 14,581 counterfeit toonies on his property, in addition to the stockpile uncovered at the airport. More than 26,000 counterfeit coins in all, with a street value of over $53,000. That is the largest bust that has been reported by Canadian authorities. <laughs> According to the CBSA, one of the sellers was a company called Kunshan Long Life Gifts, located in Jiangsu, China. They're marketed as replicas and sold to buyers in North America through e-commerce sites. Canada Customs, it's, it's very, it, it's, they're busy, so they can't inspect every single package that comes in, and that's an issue. The Royal Canadian Mint declined our request for an interview, but in a statement said counterfeit toonies are rare and added that Canada has some of the most secure currency in the world. Hopefully they're waking up. I doubt it. Just because they've got bigger fish to fry. He's urging the public to give their change a double take. Taria Isri, Global News, Ottawa. So that's interesting. I never thought we'd have to be looking at our coins to see if they were counterfeit now. And that's exactly what these scammers are relying on. Yeah, and it's kind of surprising because you'd think the production cost of making these would be more than five cents, but I guess they're being manufactured over in China where everything's cheap. So there it is. But... Um, you know, there's there's some there's definitely some ways that you can tell that your change is counterfeit versus real. So they didn't really go into it in in the news video, but here here's a couple of a couple of suggestions. So on the front side of the toonie, one of the things that you can look for is the front right foot, as the guy said. On the counterfeit, the the foot of the polar bear looks a little strange. It looks a little... It looks oh, like a lobster claw almost. Yeah, it looks like over-exaggerated. Yeah. Like, like the actual imprint of the machine didn't, you know, uh, was, was actually off. So that's one thing. Um, the second, as you can see in this image, on the real coin um, with the polar bear side up, it says Canada dollars. And on the fake one, it says Canada, Canada. So that's the second thing to look for. Also on the polar bear side in the middle where it says Canada dollars, it's got the number two at the very bottom. On the fake where it says Canada, Canada, which again, that's how you know it's fake, but also where the number two is supposed to be between the maple leaves, it's a dollar sign. Lastly, if you flip the coin over where you see Queen Elizabeth, um, you see on the counterfeit coin, there's a maple leaf up at the top and that isn't present on the real coin itself. And also the queen's nose looks exceptionally large on the fake. 
Yeah, it looks like Christian Freeland's nose, like a witch's nose, <laughs> to be to be perfectly honest. Um, but um, so that's that's something to uh, to take a look at. So um, so you know, we wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. It's not a story that we even saw of until recently, so it's not getting a lot of press. But it's something that Canadians should be aware of. You know, not not only do we not have a lot of money to spend, now we got to really watch it to make sure that what we're spending is real. So what happens if you get a fake toonie? Well, let's take a look at uh, what you can do. Now, this guide was written for banknotes, but it's the exact same for coins. So this is taken directly from the Bank of Canada website. Um, and what it advised you to do is if you are handed a coin um, and you take a look at it and you suspect it's counterfeit, um, you can politely refuse it and explain why and just point out, this is why I think this is not a real coin and ask for a different one. Check that one. Um, and then advise whoever is giving you that, whether it be a vendor or you know even somebody that you know, uh, to check the, the coin with the local police department because they, they would be aware of the, the different issues with the, the currency. Um, and um, after that, um, inform your, your police department yourself of an attempt to pass suspected counterfeit money to you. You know, when you're doing that, it's important to to realize that, you know, the person that may, you know, th th that is handing you the money, they may not even know it's counterfeit. So I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say, oh, you know, this person, you know, knowingly passed me counterfeit money. I, I wouldn't say that. Just say, you know, th this is this is the situation. Just state the facts. You don't know whether, you know, they knew or not and let the police take uh take it from from there and that's really what you have to do and that doesn't matter if it's a coin if it's a hundred dollar bill if it's a twenty dollar bill whatever it is so what happens if you have the bill or the coin in your possession and you believe it's counterfeit like not during the transaction but later when you're home and you've got this this coin or this bill that you suspect is a fake well in that case take it to the police <laughs> and and hand it over to them. And the good news is, is if it's real, they'll give it back to you. And if it's not, unfortunately, you're out the money. You're you're done uh, because now that's evidence, unfortunately. However, it is a crime for you to knowingly spend a counterfeit coin or counterfeit bill. So it's in your best interest to bring it to your local authorities if you suspect it may be counterfeit. Yeah, otherwise you immediately become a felon. And you could be party to a crime because remember, somebody else could report you. And if they can prove you knowingly gave them the coin, you're not going to be in for a good ride this spring. So that's your public service announcement from Northern Perspective regarding $2 coins being counterfeited and shipped over from China into the Canadian economy. So check those coins and uh, make sure you be a good Samaritan. Report any that you see to the police. Take care, everybody, and watch your money.